since 2004. That is probably one of my favorite Northeast Ohio traditions. Whatever your plans are for tomorrow evening, whether it's the walleye drop or whatever you're doing, maybe you're staying home with your pets, which sounds like the most amazing thing ever. Just be aware that if you're going to be venturing out, we're going to be dealing with a little precip, and that's why we've issued a first alert weather day for Sunday evening all the way into Monday morning. Here's the culprit. You can see that the current map is, I mean, is very quiet for much of the country, particularly the Buckeye state and west. There's not really anything going on and to get up to Twin Cities where we've got a little bit of snow and this is our next system and this is what's going to be bringing us that wintry mix tomorrow. So I want to walk you through it hour by hour on first alert future view. This is brand new data by the way. So waking up tomorrow cloud cover and some light wintry mix in the area temperatures in the low 30s. So might have a little in the way of visibility issues to start the day. Light rain and snow showers continue into the afternoon. Afternoon. Wet roads, reduced visibility. These are the kind of problems we'll have tomorrow. It's not a significant snow, but definitely a nuisance. And scattered wintry mix lingers into the evening. So if you have New Year's Eve night plans, it's going to be cool. Temperatures in the mid 30s, and there will be scattered rain and snow out there. Here's future view 5 o'clock on Monday morning, out the door on Monday. Still have that light snow in the area. Slick, slushy roads, reduced visibility. Good news is not a ton of commuters on the roads Monday morning because it's a holiday, but some of us are coming into work, right? So if you will be out and about Monday morning, just be aware of that threat for a little snow in the area. Snow showers come to an end as the day goes on. Chilly highs only in the 30s. The wind factored in probably going to feel more like it's in the 20s because it's going to be breezy on Monday in terms of total accumulation again more of a nuisance than anything else slushy accumulation on the grass and elevated surfaces generally about a trace to an inch I think an inch may be pushing it in some areas but trace to inch area wide I think is a good forecast for this system tonight 32 we're going to be drying out this evening a little bit of light rain and drizzle still kind of hanging around this evening evening a few flurries out there. It all comes to an end overnight, but we keep these clouds. They are locked in all through the day tomorrow and even into Monday holiday outlook. I wish I had better news. I love that. Thank you. Control room ringing in the new year early, right? I don't know. Will you be able to hang on until midnight tomorrow? We'll see. I generally do not. New Year's Eve night, occasional light rain and snow. We're in the 40s tomorrow. We are above average once again. And then uh, still technically above average New Year's Day, but not by a lot. Occasional light rain and snow tomorrow. And then New Year's Day morning snow, afternoon clouds. I would mentioned that breeze. It is going to feel pretty brisk on Monday, so if you'll be out and about, bundle up Tuesday, a little tiny warm up. We're in the low 40s, mainly sunny there, and then another system coming in middle of the week. Wintry mix on Wednesday, transitioning to all snow on Thursday. This is your first alert that the middle of the week we're going to be doing this all over again, and then we dry out by the end of next week and into next weekend.